trying to watch me sleep. Voyeur. <laughs> I would have thought you'd seen plenty of me all night. Don't apologize. I didn't mean it like that. Believe it or not, I like looking at you, too. just the opposite. I'm not tired at all. I feel energized, alive. <laughs> Last night with you was beautiful, deviant. <laughs> These few hours of sleep were like a cat nap after the metaphorical buffet of sexual energy you graced me with. I feel like I could tear down a building with my bare hands right about now. Or at least bring it shuddering to its knees in front of me. <laughs> yes, I just sexualized a building. You do remember I'm a sex demon, right? Because I have no intention of letting you forget it. Wait, why are you getting up? To get dressed? <laughs> Covering up that body is a sin, you know. Mm -hmm. Sin is something I'm very familiar with. You should know that by now. I take that to mean then that our fun began and ended last night. Is this that awkward morning after I've heard so much about? We could play out the whole scene if you'd like. Me offering you coffee. You fumbling for your clothing while saying that you have an appointment you forgot about. Trying to find a tactful way to ask me to leave. It's not a part I've had to play before, but improv is a strong suit of mine. You owe me nothing, Deviant. If you'd like me to leave, you just have to ask. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> well, I'm not ungrateful for your lips on mine, I'll admit. I'm a little confused. You're kissing me, but you're still getting dressed. What? What's happening? No, I, I haven't done this before, if you must know. Nights of passion I'm familiar with. They're a specialty of mine, as a matter of fact. But I don't... stay. But in this case, um, you fell asleep holding me, and it seemed cruel to disturb you. <sighs> yes, that is the reason I'm going with. For now.
you don't have to show me the email, lawyer. If you say you have something to attend to, then I believe you. End of story. Much to my disappointment, and to your loss, I understand that there's more to your life than the rapturous heights of ecstasy that I can bring you to. And, as you so aptly put it, I suppose I also understand that needing me to leave doesn't mean you don't want me to come back. But you should be careful making open-ended invitations like that, deviant. I just might take advantage of it. Taking advantage is another of those specialties I mentioned. Maybe I'll show you that later tonight, as if I haven't already. Are you sure you're all right? Once we were having our fun, you were relaxed and, dare I say it, quite emphatic. But now you're acting like you were when I first showed up last night. Preoccupied. I'd almost go so far as to say, worried, for someone else, or for yourself, I can't be sure. Something on that mind of yours? I'm happy to be a distraction, if that's the case. <laughs> well, being perceptive is a distinct advantage when you're an incubus, as I'm sure you can imagine. And that includes perceiving when someone is dodging a question. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, if you really must be going for your little meeting, I'll take my leave as well. Do me a favor, though. Tell your guidance counselor that Gavin says hello, and that I hope those stains came out of that shirt of his. <sighs> and then be sure to let me know how red those cheeks of his got when you told him. <laughs> Have a good day at school, Deviant. Put some of that studying we did to good use for me. Hmm. <laughs> Lasco, I need to be able to take that extra class next semester. I don't care that it'll push me past my credit limit. Just Submit the request for an override. Please. Damien. <sighs> oh, hi. You need him, I'm assuming? Have fun. In that case, I guess I can consider the last 20 minutes me softening him up for you. Now I don't have to feel so bad. Oh, I, I was not mean. I was 
firm. There's a difference. Look, if you're not going to take too long with him, you should meet up with me before our psychokinesis class. We've got a quiz today. We could both use some practice. I reserved a study room in the honors building. I'll text you the room number once a minute. I don't care if you're not an honor student. I am, and I reserved the room. And if I want you in it, then any admin addresses their concerns to me. Non-honor students are allowed in those spaces in the case of a group project, provided they are accompanied by an honor student. In other words, me. I know the rules better than most of the deadbeat staff here. But don't rush your meeting, either. I'm sure that's important. Just meet up with me if you have some extra time. Thank you. Oh, thank God, it's you. I was afraid it was Damien again. <sighs> No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scared of a student. That would be ridiculous, and that would be conduct unbecoming of a guidance counselor who's hoping to become a professor here someday. I am not afraid of Damien. I'm just, I, okay, fine, I am afraid of him. <laughs> I know he's not a bad guy or anything, and I know he means well, but he's just so intense, and when he wants something, it's like there's there's no telling him no, and he knows every rule and every exception, and he talks me into a corner like it's some kind of blood sport for him, and he makes it so hard to focus when he keeps, he keeps bringing up all these different points and citing these examples, and I just, I, uh, God, I fucking hate it when he schedules time with me. Fuck. Shit. Damn. Shit. Shit. Damn. Fuck. I am so sorry about that. I had no business venting all that to you, and Jesus Christ, I cannot be using language like that in front of a student. Again, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I know you, um, uh, scheduled this meeting because you had a question about a particular class. <laughs> um, hold, hold on, uh, let me, let me find my notes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I know it's, it's old school, printing everything out and, uh, oh, fuck, uh, I'm, I mean, damn it, uh, and, and, and handwriting everything. No, that's not it. Come on. Um, it, yeah, no, uh, it, it, it's just... I, I do better when I can, uh, hold on to things you know, tangible in, 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 in my hands. Um, when, you know, when I, when I can see everything that, that needs to be done right in front of me, it... It helps keep me grounded. Uh, and God knows I need all the help I can get in that department. Oh, hold on. Um, ah, here. Here we go. Okay. Uh, alrighty. Uh, here's your message. Okay, so uh, it's about the coming semester. Dun, 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 dun. Wanting to modify the schedule. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's, um, that's something I can do. <laughs> um, hold on, uh, let me pull up the schedule we put together for your next semester. Okay. Oh, come on, that is my password. Don't do that to me. Hold on. Uh, 
army. Oh, I should have had this open, but Damien started talking and I got flustered and, and I closed the window. Okay, alright, we've got your schedule up. Okay, uh, so let's see, we've got intermediate elemental control, magical taxonomy, comparative empowered physiology, comparative empowered psychology. We've got... Damn, this is a full schedule. Are you sure you want to take all of this? I mean, even if you're pursuing full certification, this is an ambitious schedule, and... You, you want to add another course? That's what this is about? On top of all this, are you sure? What, well, what class? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, you have the course ID. All right. Um, thank you. Oh, let me pull it up. Are you sure this is the right one? Um, this is an intermediate healing magic class. Did you? Are, are, are you thinking of pursuing a career in healing? No, well, then why do you want to take this class? Oh, oh, okay, okay, uh, I, I hear you, uh, I, I wasn't trying to pry, it's just, um, it's kind of out of left field, <laughs> is all, did, did someone get hurt? And, and you were upset you couldn't help? Or, uh, okay, 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 I'm sorry. Not, not, not prying, not prying, uh, lips are sealed. It's just that that's usually why someone would want to take a class like that after having expressed no interest in the healing field before now. And it's, oh, okay, 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 I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I promise. Sorry. <laughs> um, well, I, 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 I can see you're clearly very passionate about this, uh, but but this is technically an intermediate class. It, you're you're supposed to take the beginner level one before this. Well, yeah, beginner level healing is, is basically just patching up scrapes and bruises, but that's that's not enough. Okay, look, I I swear I'm not trying to put my nose where it doesn't belong, but. Are you worried for someone? Or or for yourself? Are you afraid someone's gonna get hurt? I I'm not just your guidance counselor. I'm a vetted member of the staff at this academy. If there's something going on that has you worried, I can get it reported. I I can help. Okay, well, even if it's not an on-campus concern, and, and I can't do anything in, in, in an official capacity, I, I'd still like to help. At the risk of being forward, there's no way that this urge to take this course, and how hard you're fighting to get in it, came out of thin air, is... Everything okay? So it was a friend. Is, is he okay now? <sighs> wow. Well, he must be really strong. <laughs> the healing magic is notoriously hard to do well on yourself. <laughs> Especially when you're in pain. You've got one hell of a friend. I, I don't want to pry any more than I already have. It's clear that whatever happened with your friend shook you up, but for what it's worth, I get it. I get that feeling of helplessness. Knowing that there's magic that could help, but not knowing how to use it. Ha 
having to see pain and know that you could stop it, but, but you just don't know how. I'm a human born too, remember? If it wasn't taught in the class, I didn't know how to do it. You and I didn't have a childhood filled with empowered parents and family showing us tricks and and explaining how everything works. No one's powers show up until puberty, but people born to empowered families know about magic from the day they're born. They're constantly surrounded by it, and the instant that their powers manifest, they start learning how to master it. People like us didn't have that. We don't know a dozen little quality of life spells that were taught to us by our parents. When we finally admit to ourselves and our families that we have powers, half of us might as well not even have parents anymore. As far as they're concerned. I'll get the class added to your schedule. <laughs> You're welcome. And hey, if if you if you ever need help with it and 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 it's gonna be a tough class, trust me. I aced every healing class I've taken. I I'd be happy to help. Not not as a um a, a guidance counselor, but as a uh, f a fellow student. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, for, for one more semester, anyway. I mean, barring incident, I will be fully certified at the end of this coming semester. But I mean it. If, if, if you need any help, I'd, I'd be happy to help. You know, if, 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 you, if, if you need any help. Jesus, let's go say help one more fucking time. Okay, um, <clears throat> back on track. Uh, I will get that added to your schedule. I will make sure that the prereq, uh, gets waived. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sure you have class fairly soon. You, you should probably head out. <laughs> have a good one. Hmm? G Gavin? He, he said what? W w wait, 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 you, 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 you know him? I, I thought you just met him that one time. He remembers me? Oh god, did he tell you about... What? Class? No, wait, you can't just... So you did decide to grace me with your presence after all. <laughs> well, class is starting at about five, so I don't think there's much point in studying, but that's okay. I reserved this room for a four-hour block, so if you want to get some practice in after class, we can always come back here. It's up to you. <laughs> Good. That final is closer than it seems. We need all the practice we can get. Well, did your meeting go well? I mean, I guess I don't even really have to ask. Lasko will probably tell me all about it unsolicited while I'm trying to get him to focus on the problem I'm bringing to him. But this is a lot more polite. <sighs> I told you, I'm not mean to him. We're just... We're very different people. He's... nice. I, I mean, everything I've asked of him, he does, and he clearly wants to help. I just wish he'd shut up every now and then. 
Oh, well, he is not scared of me. He said that? Why? Why is he scared of me? What'd I do? What? I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to set those papers on fire. That, that, that was an accident. Well, just, just because he annoys me sometimes doesn't mean I want him to be scared of me. I don't... I don't want people to be scared of me. I know I can be intense, but but that's not what I'm trying to be. I'll I'll write him an email. Maybe that'll freak him out less. Hmm. Well, I could ask you the same thing. Or we can both just book some time with the airhead, and before long we'll both know what the other's meeting was about. You first. Healing? I'm saving that till my third and fourth years. I... I want to have a better handle on some things before I try those classes. I didn't ask why you want to take it, because it's not my business. If you want to tell me, I'm sure you would. Why? Do you want to tell me? Well, then why'd you bring it up? Well, of course, Lasko asks why. He asks everything. And, to his credit, as a guidance counselor, it's probably worthwhile for him to know. Because it could influence other things you want to do with your schedule. But he would have asked either way. That guy is insatiable. My meeting... I was asking to get a credit limit override. I told you I will be graduating in four years, and I have no intention of letting anything stand in my way of that. If I load up now at the beginning, it gives me more flexibility down the road if something was to happen and I fail a class or something. It won't put me behind. Well, thanks to that deadbeat Cody, I have to think about things like that now. I had never failed a class in my entire fucking life before he came along like a selfish little prick and ruined it. But that's in the past. Nothing can change that now. I'm just going to learn and grow and not hold on to the anger. Because it won't do me any good. If I stay mad, the universe wins. And I don't lose. We should probably get moving. Class is starting soon. And if we want to sit together, we need to get in there before there aren't any open spots next to each other. Let's go.